you are now a Twitch affiliate. First of all, congratulations. And you've unlocked, amongst other things, the ability to have channel points, a system where your viewers will accumulate points over time by simply watching your stream. But since you were busy setting up everything else for affiliate like emotes, sub badges, bit emotes, you actually left your channel points on the default settings, meaning like a couple of points and someone can highlight a message, a couple of points and someone can unlock a sub emote, someone can modify a sub emote. It's time to step it up. That story was about me. I was sleeping on channel points until now. And hopefully this is one of many videos in the future about channel points and all the crazy things that you can do with them. Hey guys, get level here, and today we're gonna figure out how to play sound effects using channel points so that people who accumulate those points have something to do on your channel. It will be a sound effect, but also like a little visual cue to let you know which sound is being played and stuff like that. In the beginning, in the beginning, boy, if you don't get <laughs> okay. everyone is just everyone is just using them now. There are a thousand ways to do this. You can play sounds on your stream like so many ways, but today we're gonna be using Blurp. Why are we going to be using Blurp? Because Blurp is a service that is really, really based around sound and it is not just for channel points. You can use them as something called walk on. So when you have a regular come to your stream, they can actually have their own sound effect that plays to welcome them you can have uh, people give bits in order to play sound effects if you want to you can upload your own sound effects and make them available for everyone to use so it's not just a simple channel point service it's a whole soundboard service real quick stick around till the end of the video i will make an announcement that will allow you to participate in one of my next videos all right let's get into streamer mode and set this up all right let's make it happen so the first thing you'll want to do is go to blurp.com. Next, we will log in with our Twitch account right here. Boop. And there, we already have access to the entire library of soundboards. Users already generated some boards. They're basically playlists of sound effects. Or you can just go up the search bar and find something you want. But let's go back. Top here, we're going to click on that little menu we're gonna click blurb for twitch and here it will bring you to a page that tells you all the things that blurb can do but on top here we want to find your settings there you go and this is what's important okay the first step is going to be content where they basically uh, give you some featured boards but we're interested in channel points so click on channel points and if you're doing this for the first time it might ask you to log in with your twitch account again and authorize certain things just authorize everything and uh here you can set like a global setting if you want all the sounds that you're gonna add to require 10,000 channel points. That's what I have mine, but you can uh, decide what you want. Channel cooldowns and all of that. Those are the default, basically, uh, settings. We're gonna make sure that channel points is enabled here, and we will have uh, the amount of slots that are available. I have 38s left. Now, right here, if you do not have a collection, you can create a new collection, and you can call it whatever you want. Let's call this one three, for example. You can create it, and then to this collection, you can add uh, new sounds. So the cool thing here is that by creating collections, you can turn on or turn them off. So if you have a collection for scary games or for specific games or for specific streams, you can just go in here in your dashboard and turn them on and off. Now let's say that collection three is going to be for spooky games. We're gonna click add blurb. So this is where we're gonna find our sounds. The only kind of disadvantage that I would say, the only downside I would say that blurb has is that here, it is trying to get your own blurbs that meaning that they expect you to have already navigated the website and favorited a bunch of sounds and basically selected some boards and stuff like that, which is most likely not going to be the case. I just wish that when I come here, I would have a tab that would allow me to navigate and suggest some blurbs to me rather than me having to navigate the site and then coming here. Anyways, search function is still active. So let's find horror. And from there, we will find a bunch of horror sounds. The titles are usually very descriptive, so let's click on Shock Horror and see what it is. Classic. Girl Horror Scream. Okay, that's enough. Uh, horror Sound. Horror Time. Wow. Okay, so let's say that we want this one. All we would have to do is click on the little plus here. Then this pop-up will appear. 
Here you can set the amount of channel points that you want people to use in order to trigger the sound. You have the channel cooldown so that no one in the channel can use it until that elapsed time. There's a limit per stream. You can make it so you have one sound that can only be used once for the whole session, for the whole stream. Then there's the limit per user. So how many times a specific user can use this specific sound? And then this is the part where you can name this, okay? So you can go la la la, or what I'd like to do is actually put SFX for sound effects, or if you're not sure people are gonna know what SFX is, you can just put sound effect, la la la. And then you're gonna click create. And this actually creates a new reward in your Twitch that is called sound effect la la la, and that will trigger this sound effect. Now I'm gonna show you how you can set it up on your broadcasting software. Let's close this. As you can see here, I have my sound effect la la la. Let's click up here and click set up browser source. On the left side here, you will have the link for the browser source. So in your broadcasting software, all you need to do is add a new source, browser source, and then copy paste this link. Or you can just drag and drop this into OBS. So now I have OBS Studio on this side. I'm gonna drag and drop this. And we'll say you have dragged a new URL into OBS, I don't know, as a source, yes. <laughs> and boom, you actually have your browser source set up. Now, if you go to your own channel, the Twitch setup allows you to use your channel points unlimited. You will see sound effect, la la la, and you just click on it. Hopefully we will hear it. Might be a little loud. Redeem. La la la. And there you go. You will also have a blur bot that will tell you what sound is being played. Uh, right now it's an asterisk because of my mod, my moderation settings, but it's supposed to tell you exactly what it is, or it might even give you a link. I believe it's a link. That's why it's censored. So as you can see here from my own stream, I have a bunch of them that are already set up. I could click on any of them to make them play. For example, this one. <laughs> I try to keep them high when it comes to the points because I don't want them to be too disruptive. I don't want too many people using them, you know, back to back to back to back. <laughs> but there you go. Let me know if you would want a tutorial on how to use the walk-on service, which is when a regular comes in, you can have them have their own sound effect that plays kind of like an intro music or, or an intro sound effect. Now that's it for how to use channel points in order to trigger sound effects. Now for the little announcement that I told you about in the beginning of the video, I am going to be reacting to your clips once again. So, the announcement is simple. Share your favorite clip from your Twitch channel and I'll be reacting them in a future YouTube video. I might bring a guest along. So the link to this tweet will be posted in the description. So go click on it, go post your favorite Twitch clips from your own channel and tweet. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking for some dope overlays to make your Twitch channel look good, go to gumroad.com slash get level. I have a bunch of them. They are free. I have a brand new pack that I just posted called start. It's animated. It's clean. Go check it out. And then on the top right, you will see what YouTube thinks is the best video for you to watch. And at the bottom, you will see my most recent video. So go check them out. Keep learning about live streaming and I will see you guys next time maybe with more channel points videos <laughs> thank you so much for watching my video go out there make me proud get level out